I think it's been a rough few months for Xbox with the Activision Blizzard deal seemingly falling through and a mess of a launch for Redfall. But could this game showcase be exactly what the doctor ordered? Find out. Up next. <laughs> What up guys, this is Kalo and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the Weekend XP Share. So we just got official word earlier this week that the Xbox Game Showcase will in fact be going down on Sunday, June 11th. Of course, this is the showcase that will have a fully dedicated Starfield Direct happening just after the main showcase as well. And just saying, given all the controversy and just the bad PR that has been thrown Microsoft's way, that Starfield Direct really needs to hit it out of the park. But it's also worth noting on June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, there will be an extended showcase happening that will feature an in-depth interviews focused on all the news covered at the main showcase. But going back to that Starfield Direct real quick, at the moment, I think it's safe to say this game is the biggest launch for Xbox in a long while. Having the proper amount of time to fully assure fans exactly what they're getting into and showing off even more gameplay along with some cool new details will certainly quell the storm that has been brewing lately. Now let's get down to the real meat of this showcase and of course that's the games. Now I don't personally think Microsoft will just walk on the stage and drop all their big announcements one after another but I do think we're going to be getting some heavy hitters. Two games right off the bat I think are sure locks for this showcase are Avowed and Hellblade 2. And there has been rumors of Hellblade 2 releasing sooner rather than later, and I certainly see them dropping at the very least some new gameplay for each of these respective games along with their release windows. Now, another game on the docket for Microsoft is Forza 8. This game is planned for this year, so we're gonna most likely get the exact release date. Stalker 2, State of Decay 3, Perfect Dark, and Fable are also among the games that I think we should get further information on. And this could just be me reading into this too much, but Microsoft posted on their website, quote, join us for some new surprises and first looks from our incredibly talented internal studios and our many creative partners around the world. This is the day gamers have been waiting for to see what's coming from Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. So could we be in store for some unannounced stuff as well? I think so. As for what exact studio this could come from, honestly, just close your eyes and take your pick here. But studios like Double Fine, Compulsion Games, who've been working on a new IP for a long while now, it could also be in exile. And finally, it's software, since it's been around three years since Doom Eternal. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. What games are you most excited to get more information on? For me, it's Fable, of course, I love that franchise, but honestly, some Elder Scrolls news would be nice, but I think that's too far away. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video, and this has been your Weekend XP Share.